Did you say what a mess up here? Yeah. Yeah, you're the culprit. Open up. You open up. Ela, what did you say? There's no pasta in it. He said, what, for me? Yes, that's your pasta. Because yes. I know you just like your noodles plain. This is me at Edward's dinner. I made some Alfredo. This is like my first meal back postpartum. Actually cooking. Still drinking my alcohol-free wine. Don't worry, a bottle looks crazy. But yeah, kind of got a family style. And uh, yeah, we're gonna enjoy dinner at the table. Okay, we gotta wait for daddy. Oh, love, see. taking them out it's going to be a nice day not too hot or too humid so i really wanted to get my toddler outside it is currently 8 43 a.m you saw he's still upstairs sleeping the baby baby down here with daddy while i got to get ready i'm going to get snacks together breakfast is there any breakfast already did you make breakfast yet no okay, i'm gonna get breakfast together snacks together so as soon as breakfast is done i hear my toddler now as soon as I'm done making breakfast, we can already have snacks, bags packed, ready to go. This is a real uncut day. Pray for me. You guys saw the house is a mess. It is what it is. We're just getting adjusted. We're still getting adjusted. Some days I feel like, hi, Shanks, good morning. Some days I feel like I have to hang out with two kids. The other days, I'm like, what did I get myself into? So, 
yeah just come along with me today you guys and let's pray pray right now pause the video and pray for me that today turns out a good day Elo, will it be a good day okay i'm gonna hold you to it <laughs> Come on, drink, 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 drink it up. Drink it up. Shut, shut, shut. Good job. Bless you. Ooh. Oh. 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 Come here. I'm not done wiping your nose. Coffee. Yeah, pumpkin. Yes, yes. He went upstairs. He'll be right back. You focus on using the potty, okay? to pick one. And this. The red one? Okay. You only get one, Elo. Which one? I like... Pick one. Which one? I like blue. You want? Okay, you only pick one, okay? And next... Yeah, you pick one. And then when you go to the potty again, you get another one. Nope, just one. Oh. Okay, next time you go potty, you get another one, okay? Okay? <laughs> Here's your breakfast. Say thank you, Jesus, for this food. Yes, I'll take a picture of your car. So cool. So for breakfast, Elo got a waffle, some turkey kielbasa sausage, and some bananas in his oat milk in this little sesame place um, cup that we got him a couple of years ago. All right, eat your food. What do you want to watch? What do you want to watch? We usually let him watch some TV while he eats his breakfast. While he eats his meals, that's kind of like his uh, TV break. What do you want to watch, Elo? I want to watch Monster Truck. Okay, any other Monster Truck mamas out here? Any other ones? Now I'm going to try to quickly finish my breakfast, making it before I have to feed Kate again. Don't know if that's going to be possible. But while I have, while my turkey bacon is, excuse me, y'all. While my turkey bacon is in the toaster oven, I'm going to get the snacks ready. So I'm going to take a Nutri-Grain bar. I'm going to pack up some pretzels. And not gonna take oatmeal cream by because these smush up in the diaper bag and all the stuff and you end up having to throw them away um i'll take some cookies so i'll take these three snacks Quickly, this is some avocado that I smashed up yesterday. Used some of it yesterday, so I'm once again gonna put some on this bread. 
toast it and then put my turkey bacon on top and that'll be my breakfast for this morning with my iced coffee. Someone's very angry at me as you can hear. He's getting his diaper changed by daddy. And he's getting brought right over to me so I can feed him. I feel so bad, but I was literally right at the last second of my food. So here it is, nothing fancy. Okay. Shinky man. I'm so shy. I'm so shy. Elo, eat your food. I'm going to turn the TV off if you can't eat at the same time. Look, use your fork. You want to use your fork? There it is right there. You see it? Someone's in a much better mood. Are you happy? I wanted to be out here by 10, y'all, but it is 9.45. Elo still eating slow as molasses. I only got to take one bite of my sandwich. I still have to wash his face and change his clothes, wash Elo's face, brush his teeth. So we're going to shoot for 1030 now. 1030. Come on, you know you have more teeth than those four in the front. Okay, mommy's gonna take over now. I'm gonna take over now. Okay, that's better. That's better. Now, can you get your back? Go, ah! Open up, what? Let's see, your brother's learning from you. Uh, he's learning. Go, ah, open wide. Open it wide. Good job. Let me see the other side. Okay, you guys, mommy bag is ready. Keys in hand. Everyone's ready to go. Moisturized, face washed, teeth brushed. I've already had a mommy mistake before noon, but it is what it is. We must, we must keep it moving. Let me move this out the way so nobody think he's gonna choke. Ready to come on? Yes, I am. I'm ready to come on. Okay, go down the stairs. There's another grasshopper. Going down the stairs. All right, well, I'm going to leave you. So, this parking space right here is significant to me, and I'll tell you all in one second. But... I'll tell you why in one second, these tennis courts, but we made it to the playground. Such a beautiful day out here, like gorgeous, gorgeous day. So very quickly, um, when I was pregnant with Cade, um, me and Elo came here one day. Actually, I suffered really badly with prenatal depression. A lot of people don't know that. Um, I had, yeah, pretty bad prenatal depression, which is like postpartum but it's when you're pregnant and depressed as opposed to after being pregnant being depressed anyway I was having a really hard time and this day I forced myself out of the house I was like I'm not gonna be sitting in the house sad today 
and me and Elo came and drove over here and got Chick-fil-A and sat in that parking space and just watched people play tennis and it really boosted my mood because I felt so happy that I could take him outside and then I even felt a, did a step further and actually vlogged the beginning of it um it's in one of these vlogs that I already posted um I just pulled out a blanket and let him run around and you know sat in nature it was really nice so it just feels good to come back here in a much better space mentally with both boys and you know just feeling like myself again uh as best as I can not in that state so yeah um I'm not gonna get emotional <laughs> We're going to go out here and have some fun and play. Last time we came here, it was packed to capacity, but kids are back at school, so it's only a few kids out here, so that's great. Yep, we're about to go down on the ramp. We got to go down the ramp because there's we can't go down the stairs. Come on. I'm following you. One, whoa, two, three, wait, okay, wait, gotta get your brother. Okay. One, five, uh oh, six. Elo, wave. You can do the slide. You want to do the slide? Right here. Come here, right here. Elo. Lord have mercy, this kid ain't listening. Elo. Elo, come on, come down the slide. Come down the slide. I'm right here. Oh, you want me to pick you up right here? Come here, I need to check, Elo, I need to check your pants. I see you, Elo. You gotta go through. Come on. You gotta go through. Yes, this way. Okay, so we're taking a walk on one of the trails for a second away from the playground because my anxiety is peaking because Elo is not, he's doing a good job, but there are moments he's not listening when I'm asking him to come here. And it's very hard to maneuver through all these small crevices and all the kids with this big stroller. I can't just leave Cade on one half of the playground while chasing Elo around and I can't leave Elo running around this big old playground while I sit with Kay. So I've just been maneuvering through everything and uh, just need a break. So we're gonna take a short walk on this trail that has a bridge that he likes and then probably leave. Uh, I'm gonna look and see when I recorded the first video to see how long we've been here. He's probably gonna be angry at me, but I have a snack in the bag that'll hopefully help deter him and uh, I, I need to feed Kane in the car before we um, head to get lunch from Red Robin. Red Robin. Come on, let's walk on the bridge first, then we go back to slide. The bridge is literally right here, okay? Kane has basically slept through this whole thing. He woke up for a few minutes and went back to sleep when I put a pacifier in. Oh, it's a little rough. Okay, slow down. Wait. 
see, he thinks I'm playing with him when I say that, and I'm not, and he's too far ahead. The camera cut off for some reason, but I threatened to go home. You cannot run off. You have to walk with me, you hear me? Are you listening? Calm down and listen. Deep, do this. <sighs> Take some deep breaths and listen, stop and listen. You can't run off. You have to walk with mommy. Do you hear me? Or we go home. <sighs> See, that's why my anxiety is peaking. Now imagine that on the playground with other kids around, other parents around. Do not run off, Elo with this big old shoulder bag. It's a lot. So I don't want him running here either, but at least I can, you know, put on my black mom voice, shake him up a little bit. Other people around, you know, I'm staring at you. You know, at the end of the day, I don't care. It's about him being safe. Hmm? What? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go eat a snack? Okay, let's go to the car and eat a snack. And drink some water. You don't want your pretzels or cookies? Okay, let's go back that way. I want to play with slides. Oh, Lord. We got to take a break first. I also want to get ahead of Kate. Like, I don't want to wait until he wakes up super hungry, crying and screaming to have to walk back to the car, get him in and feed him. I'd rather be ahead of the curve and feed him and you know just be prepared for when he wakes up and he's starting to stir around so i'm just telling you we're going to take a snack break and unfortunately we probably won't come back but he did get a good amount of time out here this way this way what yes what's your idea you want to walk up the stairs Okay, wait, let's go around and go up the stairs, okay? So I always get Elo in first. Come on, come on. Elo, come on. Watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Always get him in first because he is a flight risk. Kate is right there, parked out of the street in case somebody tries to park in his parking space while I'm getting Elo in here. But I get Elo first because he's a flight risk. All right, hands are sanitized. Here's your snack bag, here's your water. All right, I'm not gonna talk too much because you probably can't hear me, the air is blasting. Elo got his snacks, Kate is feeding, um, and it is 12.04. I looked at the video, we got out here and started walking down the pathway at 11.14. So in total, Elo, Elo ugh, We've got about, I would say, actual minutes playing on this, the playground, 30. And then we took, you know, about less than 10 minutes just taking a quick walk to the bridge. And then I packed them all in the car. So I would calculate all that being about 10 to 12 minutes. So I would say you got a good 25 to 30 minutes actually playing. So I'm really proud of myself that I was able to do this without any serious meltdowns and without him being too mischievous. I would definitely give him an A for um this outing he could have listened better but he is a toddler so to accept perfection would just be silly on my part that's one of my mom tips is don't expect more from your toddler than they can give you know their time limits elo has a time limit i can tell when he's about to start getting mischievous i can turn this down a little bit Thankfully, it wasn't super humid out here. It wasn't humid, and the wind is definitely blowing, and it's a lot of clouds in the sky that block the sun, so that was perfect. Um, but yeah, know your toddler's limits. Know the signs of when they're starting to get a little mischievous, when it when you should stop while you're ahead. And that's what I was doing. I was stopping while I was ahead, like I said, before Cade woke up and was super hungry, before Elo started just completely not listening. I was like, let's reel it in. So I find it successful. We're about to get lunch. I, you know, my birthday was uh, 10 days ago, and so I still have a free um, burger meal from Red Robin that I haven't used. Today's the last day I can use it, so I'm gonna go there for a pickup and get my lunch. And then it's also Wednesday, half off kids' meals, so it's perfect. So Elo will have a treat, I'll have my treat, 
Um, we'll head home. Can't wait to go home and have lunch with you. So this one tricked us, woke up two minutes later, and now this one is falling asleep. But I'm about to eat my lunch, even though it's gonna eat his lunch. And yeah, I'm gonna chill out for a second, catch my breath. Yeah, I'll play with the magnet's house. Just give me a few minutes, okay? Okay. You gotta finish eating your lunch. Careful, Ew. sweetest little thing. Sweet dreams, little baby. Mommy, love you. <laughs> Hi, you feel well rested? Does anyone else look at their uh, newborn and fear they're going to transform into a men in black alien? Am I the only one? Because they've been doing some crazy little movements. Yeah. Yep, I'm worried about you. A boo break before getting back into mommy duties. Is that the microwave making that noise? Or the oven? It is. It's the microwave. You look so cute in this thing. Oh, here you go, here you go. Ugh. Spitting up. What's the deal? Yeah, because y'all done bounced him around so much. He just ate, you know. Stop. You have to be gentle, okay? Yeah, don't do it, little phone. But yeah, it was cute as a bug. I'm sure he we enjoys. We breathe well. We breathe Edward. well. Goodbye. <laughs> What you say, Elo? Did you say what a mess up here? Yeah. Yeah, you're the culprit. Elo, put away the magnetiles now, please. Thank you. I've asked you way too many times. It's time to eat. It's okay, okay. You can have some pasta. You want some pasta and chicken? Okay. Um, yes, he can have his leftover pasta. Uh, you okay, Kate? Elo, I'm taking your phone away. Which is not really a phone, it's a... Then put your stuff away. So I'm not going to record us eating like yesterday because you guys saw that at the beginning. But Elo has his Red Robin drink, his chicken from Red Robin, and pasta from yesterday. And of course, we got a car here. We got some steam, some uh, cream spinach. The wings Edward made, I made some mashed potatoes, and we just got some white grape juice, and that'll be dinner. And then he's gonna have some milk. He's gonna have some milk. Just really quickly, um, I love eating off of our actual glassware. Um, we usually eat off paper plates, but since I'm not pregnant anymore, no. 
He riding his cars across the pasta. Elo, that's not sanitary, son. Leave the car right here to sit while you eat. Leave it here to sit while you eat or I have to take it away. Okay, thank you, good job. Oh, we gotta pray. Anyway, I love eating with our glassware. Um, it just makes me happy. All you gotta do is unload the dishwasher before dinner in the morning. That way after dinner, you can just put your dishes in there, wash them, and use them the next day. But yeah, we're about to eat. And I'll see you guys um, a little bit later. All right, everyone, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Edward's done with his stream. We're about to go upstairs and go to bed, really. Um, wanna say good night? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll see you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed this crazy vlog. Earth is so sad. Okay. Yeah.